Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nehmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers. And in particular on the last of them all, the blessed Prophet Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon Him as we greet you on this, the 17th day of the month of Jumadi al-Akhira from Masjid al-Jamia in the island of Trinidad and Tobago with Salaamu Alaikum with Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh and we return to the Prophet Suleiman alayhi salam Solomon and uh, he made a dua he made a dua he asked in a prayer when Allah showed him the vision of a jasad sitting on his throne that this they kindly granted no one can inherit my kingdom after me and Allah accepted the prayer when he died because the kingdom then perished and has never been restored but we want to turn now to the time of his death. Because if the jasad is to act, if the jasad is to, the vision concerning the jasad sitting on the throne, if he wants to occupy that throne, then he, the moment of death of Suleiman al-Islam, that is a critically important moment for the jasad. And so now we turn, I think it is Surah uh, um, Nabal, is it, of the Quran? I can't remember now. Help me if you know it. Where Allah speaks, Ba'da'u'zu billahi min shaitan al-rajim, about the moment when Solomon died. وَلَمَّا قَلَ عَلَيْهِ الْمَوْتِ at that time, at that moment, when death came to Solomon, ما ضله مع موته إلا دأبة الأرض تأكل من سأته. They did not know that he was dead. ما ضلهم. They did not know that he was dead until. The battle art came along and consumed the minsa, his minsa, minsa tahu. When you go to the tafsir, go to the tafsir, go to the tafsir, and see what they have written there in the tafsir. Go and do it yourself. Don't, don't be accept what I am saying. Go and check it out yourself. And this is what they say. Even modern commentators of the Quran give us this. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. They give us this nonsense. It cannot other than qualify as nonsense. And yet it is there in the classical tafsir. And these people who follow proper, who follow wrong methodology, they give the tafsir a status higher than the Quran. Once in the tafsir, it has to be absolute truth. That is the Salafi methodology. The tafsir tells us, <laughs> excuse me for laughing because it is so foolish, that when Solomon died, Nabi Suleiman al-Islam, Nobody knew he was dead. Can you believe that? And he remained sitting on his throne, holding on to his staff, even though he was dead. Nobody questioned how come he's not eating food. Nobody questioned how come he's not talking. Nobody questioned how come he's not sleeping. <laughs> Nobody questioned how come he doesn't go to the toilet. <laughs> huh? Nobody questioned. And he remained sitting there, I don't know how many months, 
maybe years he sat down there. It had to be a long, long time until termites. Dabatura, termites. I mean, it's so funny. And these termites came and started biting the bottom of the leg, the stick. It took a long time for them to bite enough that the stick would lose its balance. And when the stick lost its balance, then the body toppled. And then they knew that Solomon was dead. And this is the, uh, excuse my language again, this is the foolishness that you recite, you read in the tafsir. Not at all. This is wrong. May Allah forgive them for what they wrote because they could not understand the Quran. This is not what is in the Quran. What is in the Quran is something else. That moment of death of Solomon was critically important for the Jasad. Critically important. Because if this vision is to be fulfilled, if he is to rule the world from Jerusalem, from what he will convince people is the holy state of Israel, then he has to commence his mission as soon as Solomon dies. Is that so difficult to understand? And so that but all cannot be termites at all. What happened when he died was that there were jinn. Shayateen, satanic jinn, who were working for Solomon. And Allah had ordered them to obey him. And if any of them disobeyed him, he'd be punished with terrible punishment. It is these jinn who did not know he was dead. Not everybody. The jinn did not know he was dead. And the jinn would not know that he is dead until when? Until the battle art comes. And when the battle art comes, they have to consume not his stuff. They have to consume something called his minsa'a. The stuff is asa with sod. And minsa is with seeing. What is the minsa? The minsa is a miraculous quality of the staff. For the staff to perform miracles. When Musa Islam threw his staff on the ground, it became a snake. When uh, Musa Islam took his staff and he struck uh, the sea, the water parted. When he struck the rock, 12 streams of water emerged from the rock for each of the 12 tribes. So the staff has a miraculous quality in it. That's the minsa. And if, and the word minsa is connected with nasi. In naman nasi uziyadat on the kufr. Nasi is time. Nasi is time. So, when you are holding on to that stuff, and what is just a, that is what the Jesuit is doing, the Antichrist is doing. He's holding on to that stuff. He's able to show Suleiman still alive, walking and talking, and the jinn are not, are, the jinn are deceived, and we believe that Suleiman is still alive. And therefore, any order that the Jesuit or the Antichrist gives, they are obeying him. This is the truth. This is the correct explanation of the Quran. I don't know how many times I have to explain it. No, no, no. Imran Hussein, how can you be right and everybody else wrong? Ah, yes. If it is the truth, it will survive. And so that is rubbish. That's nonsense. It's there in the tafsir. I'm sorry for my harsh language. But it doesn't qualify as anything else. Me Allah forgive them for what, what they wrote about it. They did not understand the Quran. I am giving you the correct explanation of the Quran. The Jasad 
is Dajjal. And Dajjal is the one who is now holding on to the staff. And as a consequence of holding on to the staff, then from that day that Solomon died to this day, he is still deceiving the jinn to believe that Solomon is alive. And he's giving them orders and they have to obey. Where do you think blockchain technology came from? <laughs> and cryptocurrencies <laughs> and Bitcoin and so on. And what else is coming in? Where do you think it's coming from? Okay, it's the jinn. And so it is when the battle out consume that minsa, destroy that minsa of the stuff, only then will they know that Solomon is dead. And that's bad news for Israel. We pray that our people, our scholars, may wake up and begin to study and understand this verse of the Quran before it is too late. <laughs>